Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can utilize the new uh, news post email templates that we have available in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, uh, this is related to this news web part, uh, one of my favorite web parts that we have in SharePoint, the one that allows you to add a new uh, news and announcements. Uh, now, uh, let me show you how we uh, created uh, an announcement previously. Here is a use case. Let's say I need to create an announcement and then I need to um, also email and send it uh, to maybe my employees or a group of users. Uh, so uh, here's how we did it in the past. In the past, we just you know created a news post. We created one. Um, you know, based on, uh, you know, the built-in template, uh, I chose blank and uh, let's just uh, create some news here. And of course, this is where I will, uh, you know, populate uh, the actual announcement. I can add all sorts of web parts, you know, usually it would be right if it's an announcement, um, uh, news, um, uh, you know, text and images. Um, but um, a long story short, let me pause the announcement. All right. And uh, if I wanted to uh, email uh, that announcement, uh, I would then need to go back to that announcement right here. And I, at that point, I would click, you know, promote, and I have an option to uh, send it by email. And of course, this is where I would uh, specify the email address or the, you know, distribution list I would send it to. Uh, well, uh, now we actually have another method, um, and there were a few improvements made. Uh, let me demonstrate this to you. So uh, once again, I'm going to create an announcement, uh, but this time um, you will uh, notice um, a new section appearing, all right? In the past, we pretty much did not have this section. We only had those standard uh, templates. Uh, this made for email templates. So what are those? Um, a couple of things are making this templates unique uh, from the standard templates. So first of all, they already have a predefined look and feel. So you can obviously start with the blank, but I'm going to choose this newsletter one. Uh, let me create it. Um, and essentially what it is, it's already kind of, if you want to send an announcement, a newsletter of some sort, it's already filled in with all the different widgets and, uh, you know, sections and, uh, columns and some text. So all you have to do really is just tweak this uh, and change the images to something that makes sense, you know, for your organization and um, change uh, maybe some, um, you know, some text and so on. Uh, so uh, that's uh, one of the uh, key differences is that uh, you have some pre-built templates uh, based on various use cases. Uh, the second thing that's uh, different, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but um, when I uh, try to add widgets, web parts uh, to the standard uh, news post, I had um, pretty much a, a much larger selection of web parts to choose from. And a lot of those web parts are pretty much standard because at the end of the day, a news post is another page. And uh, obviously when you create an announcement, you don't need, you just don't need all those additional web parts that you typically would need when you're building a page. Uh, for example, you don't need a weather web part. You don't need a countdown timer web part. Um, so essentially what Microsoft did uh, for those email templates uh, you have a much, uh, pretty much smaller list, much shorter list of widgets. Uh, at the end of the day, when you are sending an announcement, it's uh, text, you know, images, maybe you want to add a video, uh, maybe some links, essentially all those basic web parts that you can add. You definitely do not have um, uh, those other web parts that you typically see uh, for, the, for the regular pages. So that's another big difference. Uh, but another, uh, another, the third difference, let me uh, assign it some name. Another difference you're going to see is in the operating corner. Uh, remember when I created a standard post in the past, um, I, you know, had a button called post. Well, now it's called post and send. So when you click this button, two things happen. Uh, the first thing that happens, the announcement actually ends up um, in the news web part. So it is posted to the uh, news web part on the SharePoint site. But then what also happens is that you get this pop-up. You don't need to manually promote and choose send you know, to, you know, to email. Essentially, uh, here it is. Here it is. You get... Um, 
uh, you get uh, pretty much uh, this email pop up automatically. So all you need to do is let me just uh, remember what uh, kind of uh, distribution list I have. So here we go. Uh, I entered uh, the distribution list called payroll. And in your case, of course, if you have a distribution list or maybe you want to specify some email addresses, you, you can do that. Uh, but uh, essentially, yeah, what uh, ends up happening um, is that it automatically prompts you to enter the email address. So all you have to do is just click the send button. And what happens, it actually populates the entire, um, the entire newsletter right within the body of the email. So when the recipient gets the message, uh, they pretty much can read the entire newsletter, uh, right, um, you know, uh, within the email uh, client. Uh, so, yeah, all you have to do is just click send. Uh, the e email is sent, and let's revisit our, um, you know, homepage. Here we go. Uh, remember when I click that post an email uh, button, uh, it automatically posted it. Here it is. So it automatically posts it to the uh, to your news web part. Uh, so that's essentially what this is all about. Um, feel free to kind of um, check out what's out here. Um, um, of course, you can start with the blank news, you know, right, and have the limited selection of widgets, web parts, but uh, Microsoft provided you with various uh, pre-built templates you can take advantage of. So definitely check them out. Uh, and uh, utilize them uh, if there is such a need. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully uh, you found this informative. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.